we're living in a very difficult time. I don't know whether that wonderful feeling of that excitement of creating as well as discovering that existed from the 1880s to about 1970, that, which was so per pervasive throughout much of the society. I, I don't, we're just miles from that now. I am Edmund Phelps, recipient of the 2006 Nobel Prize in Economics, McVicker Professor Emeritus of polit Political Economy at Columbia University and director there of the Center on Capitalism and Society. The societies in, in the Western nations, but let's just stick to America, uh, that society is so distracted by so many things and, uh, and, 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 and people in society are so focused on, on um, their salary and whether they're making as much money as the person next door or whether they're making more money than their parents did. I feel it's a cause for despair, <laughs> but on the other hand, I'm a little bit optimistic and I hope that uh, there will come a time uh, when um, Americans will uh, wake up that um, there's a lot of fun and excitement uh, to be had in the world and it involves people using their creativity and, and uh, maybe if enough people discover that and show their discoveries to their friends, uh, it will spread and we'll have a, a rejuvenation uh, of, of that exciting period. We'll see, we can hope. The philosopher economist Amartya Sen has pointed out that a quality life of much ample consumption and leisure leaves out the need of people to do things. Furthermore, as Richard Sennett has long argued, people want more than to be enmeshed in a program of work in which they never have any autonomy, any opportunity to express their insights. The experience of work, in my view, is integral to the good life. For a good life, people need in their work to have an adequate degree of agency, of course. They also want work that is engaging, that provides opportunities to take the initiative, opportunities to use their imagination, and most valuable, exercise their creativity. In creating things, we express who we are. Such meaningful work provides this sort of experience that allows individuals to flourish. I will also add that I'm strongly opposed to notions like the universal basic income, not only because it is a lamentable use of public revenue that would be better directed toward pulling up the wages of low-end workers to enable their self-support, but also because it is apt to draw or keep many people away from work. And work, for most people at any rate, is the only available avenue to personal fulfillment and to people's involvement in the central activity of the world.